hopefully uh, they're going to continue to do just that. Emma Jones and Kyla Watley and London Baker. By the way, London's aunt, uh, Diane Banner, uh, Mark's, her, London's granddad's sister, she's seated over across the way. She has a granddaughter, I believe Bobby said, that played on the on the JV a moment ago for Perryton, who would be London's cousin. Uh, but there is no Mark Banner's not here. I mean, you know, Janie Banner's not here. Bob Baker's not here. I mean, the list could go on of people who are, who are not here. But I'm happy to tell you that Adam and Anastasia Pena are here, and they're right behind us, and they'll be videoing this as we uh, talk about the white faces here tonight against Perryton. And we very much appreciate them, not just tonight, but all the nights. Uh, they make the treks and, and televise the ball games yeah. on YouTube. Mr. Hedrick and Claudia Garcia, yeah. the cheerleaders, uh, are here today too. When we talked uh, with them just a little bit about, you know, if they wanted to not make the long trip, that they had an option, you know, it, yeah. it'd be a okay with us. And, and they are they stuck it out anyway. And Miss Valdez came from the high school and. She's made the, the trek too, so it's a uh, much appreciated by these kids. For sure, for sure. Lady Whiteface is warming up right now, taking their swings at the net. We'll take a 60-second break, and we'll be back in Perryton in one minute. First financial. I didn't finish that a moment ago. Autumn Wilburn, uh, Nevea Coronado, Bonnie Vallejo, Emma Cooper, Micah Palacios, Miranda Acosta, and the Blair sisters, uh, Kendall and Cameron, and Tatum Stowe. I believe that rounds out the roster for Coach McCracken, Christy Jones, Chris Fry, her assistants, Isabel Vegas, uh, the student trainer, and uh, Claire Sims and Angelina Padilla are the managers for the White Faces. <laughs> Looking after we got through hitting and warm up, some of our kids we are sucking air. It, we, <laughs> we we took a lot of swings, and I don't I don't I think Carly can tell them if you feel comfortable and you're warm, we're yeah. good. <laughs> Enough's enough. Let's yeah. just play play the match here. Well, the white face is uh, playing as you heard Coach Kitt say <laughs> earlier, uh, Sweetwater in the first round of the playoff in Lubbock at uh, Lubbock Cooper tentatively next Monday night. Obviously, we'll be there to broadcast that. Whiteface football at home this Friday night. The Whitefaces take on uh, the Pampa Harvesters in the second game of district play. Pampa uh, scored 60 points in losing last Friday wow. night to Canyon, 75 to 60. Again. And, and an eight, a kid ran it. Yeah. Running back, right? Had eight, eight, eight touchdowns. He had six rushing and two receiving. He caught two passes for 95 yards, I remember. I think he rushed for 326 yards and six touchdowns. I mean, that's a great career, folks, in case you're wondering. Yeah, I mean, it is. is. And uh, I don't know. Obviously, there wasn't much defense played uh, on either side of the ball, but uh, and it wasn't. This wasn't six man. This was an 11 man football game that uh, Canyon won 75 to 60. Uh, while the White Faces were taking it on the chin from Dumas uh, last Friday night. So be out of, it's our obviously our last home game for the White Faces. So hopefully you'll be in the stands uh, Friday night. But if you can't be, uh, join us on the radio and on uh, YouTube for all the live action on uh, KPAN AM and FM. Well, a couple of the shout outs to our, our cross country girls yeah. team made it to the uh, to the regional meet on Monday and ended up ninth. Um, at the end of that, and the top 
I believe it's the top four advanced to the state yeah. uh, cross country meet, but they uh, they had a good showing this season and and uh, congratulations to them. And I think our band is headed to contest. They are. The band plays uh, this in uh, I think it's in Abilene this Saturday. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's, that's right, right at three o'clock. Yep. So, so good luck to those guys absolutely. and girls. Uh, Miss Henson has done a, a great job. She and her staff have, and and uh, man, best of luck. Yep. I noticed uh, the the uh, Dumas girls advanced to uh, state. Did. I think they were mm -hmm. fourth, and for the first time ever, they advanced to state in the cross country. And of course, the Canyon uh, boys and girls both uh, won the regional. And I saw where Coach Baca said they weren't quite to their peak yet, and I'm sure they're not. <laughs> He's probably right. <laughs> I'm sure they're not on purpose, not quite to their peak, yep. but they are quite good at uh, what they do and coach baca has been quite successful at doing it for a long time first in herford and then in in uh, canyon the white face is uh, standing down here to our right we're seated at a bench kind of up not in the stands but about halfway up uh, really a nice place to broadcast from i've only been here once before that was last year uh, just before I got COVID, so it was a great memory for me this, here. This was it, huh? This uh, was your last game? No, I, I broadcast, you know, this was this was actually the first round last oh, okay. year when we came up here, so I broadcast about seven more, I guess. I, I think the last one, well, I know the last one I broadcast was the third round of the playoffs when we beat uh, Papa there at home, and then I got sick and missed the, the next volleyball match. Uh, and all the basketball season last year, but uh, happy to be back here tonight. Uh, talking to you from Perryton. Perryton finishing up their swings. Let's take a break for 60 seconds and Brenda and I are back courtside in one minute. The national and, uh, the introduction of the two squads. As we're serving here, a real <laughs> unusual phenomenon. Uh, one of our players served from the near court here, one on the far side, and right at the top of the net, those two balls intersected. It was really a weird looking sight. Uh, looked like a couple of heat seeking missiles. I've seen them practice that, that in practice. Have you? Uh -huh. <laughs> they're, yeah, they're, they're, they're really good, good at it. it. They're good at it. It, they, it was a good, good, good job. They executed it well. The practice has paid off. Well, the White Faces uh, have uh, really done what you'd want them to do in the district. They have played, as we talked earlier, consistently and well and won uh, all their matches and would like to obviously intend to finish that off here tonight in Perryton with uh, one final district match in this 2022 season. Won't be long till the basketballs will be. Well, they're being dribbled right now, but it won't they be are. long. To, won't be long till they'll be playing games. Yeah, the ladies have. They started after school practice a week ago tomorrow, and uh, the boys start after school practice tomorrow. So, well, it, isn't it? Isn't yeah, it just amazing? It is. It happens. It happens pretty quickly. A uh, couple of other things to remind you of. A lot of good things happening in Hereford lately. We've had a lot of. Got a few businesses opening up, uh, a new chicken place, I think. And we heard tonight, what was it? What was the name of that? Burks, is that the Burks, name of the place? I think that's right. Burks is going to open up up there in uh, the old Bells location. So lots of good things happening. White faces gather again around Coach McCracken here for some last minute instruction. We'll have uh, students calling. 
Whoops. Yeah, good timing. Senior number 10, Peyton Stiles. Outside hitter, 5'9", is junior number 13, Cameron. It's a little unusual. Generally, we have adults, but... Uh, yeah, I think that's what the district says we should do. Well, but we elected not to. We tonight. elected not to, and let's just take care of business regardless yep, of who yep. calls the lines. Whiteface is... Uh, <coughs> Bonnie Vallejo up next. Energy. <laughs> Autumn Wilburn up next. I think they skipped Nevaeh, but that's the white face roster there. Emma Jones, Nikola Watley, London Baker, Tatum Stowe, Cameron, and Kendall Blair, Randa Costa, Micah Palacios, Emma Cooper, Bonnie Vallejo, Nevaeh Coronado, and Autumn Wilburn. Uh, Whiteface is uh, now waiting for Perryton Rangerettes to be introduced. They've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven seniors on this team. So uh, they're losing, we're losing five seniors. We got a lot of a lot of music going on here. We will we're going to rock you, I believe, is what it is. Uh, Whiteface is. Uh, here tonight, uh, again, I missed the Perryton game first time around, Coach. Uh, you did that one back in Hereford, but we, we played we pretty well. We played very well, and, and uh, I'm trying to remember. I'm not sure. I don't think they got out of single digits. Perryton didn't. Um, yeah, and it was just one of those deals where, I mean, we, we were the better team that day, but, you know, I thought our girls just did a good job of going yeah. at it and staying saying tough. I mean, they didn't get themselves in a flat-footed situation where they just sort of watched things happen and played hard and took care of business and, and uh, hopefully that's yep. exactly what we'll do here tonight. That would be a, be a good, good plan. One of the officials here tonight, uh, she'll be on the floor. She was on the net in the last. It's some lady that I've seen before. I can't, <laughs> can't think of her name, but Coach Spees is one of the two refs here tonight. Whiteface is uh, out on the floor, gathered up in a circle one more time, ready to take the court here and finish off the regular season. Well, it's a nice gym. They've got a, it is nice. They've got a nice crowd here uh, tonight. As I said, their student body up in the upper section, just, again, the opposite of what most, most places where we go, where the students are in the lower section. But... The adults are not going to let these students have these cushioned seats. I mean, there's no way. <laughs> no, but it doesn't. I mean, it didn't look like any students even tried. 
I think no. they've got a junior high team maybe down there. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know if that's junior high kids. I think that's their JV. Is that but, their JV? I think that's their JV. I'm not okay. sure. But, uh, well, the white face is uh, on the floor. We'll have Watley and uh, Blair, Cameron, uh, Autumn, Wilburn, uh, London, Baker, Bonnie Bayho, and Miranda Acosta for the final regular season match. Whiteface is uh, Coach Carly McCracken. I mentioned this to her after. I mean, this, this, she, I mean, she was so grateful for the kids and the two years and all, but mm -hmm. her record after two years. It's pretty darn good, is, isn't it? <laughs> 61 and four, 65 and four right now. Wow. So that's not too bad. My right. goodness. All right, here we go. Perryton to serve it first. London sets it. Watley swings and puts it down, and it's one nothing Herford. Good, Good pass off yep. the service receive and a little A in the back. Watley just puts it down. Oh, oh man, come on. We radio problem there, but we're back to go. Here's Miranda serving, 2 nothing. Herford. Stowe had a kill a minute ago. Herford kind of gets a little confused here, and Blair, Cameron just runs and rolls it to the middle and gets the kill, and it's 3 nothing. Herford. It's the white faces are off and running. Miranda, Acosta, Bonnie Vejo, London Baker on the back. Wilburn, Blair, and Stowe up front. In the middle, big swing blocked by the white faces. Perryton plays it back up. Over it comes. Whiteface has set it. Near side to Blair. Big swing. Nice dig by Perryton, but they can't play it, and it's 4 0 Herford. Cameron Blair with her second kill. Come on, hey. An imaginary tip. The white faces set it. Over it goes on the far side. Nice dig by Perryton. They get it over. White faces now pass it. Miranda Stowe on the slide cross court. Lisa.
Perryton. Sorry again for the little problems we had there with the phone line in the first set. Herford won it 25-4, six kills for Stowe, uh, three for Watley, couple for Bonnie, one for Kendall, and two for Cameron. A couple of aces by Stowe, an ace by Micah. And the white faces are right there at uh, 25-4. Pretty good opening show, Coach. Absolutely, a very good opening show. A little bit of, a little dicey right at the very, very, very yeah. beginning. A couple of, looks like they're going to let the setter set regardless. And, uh, you know, th and I know that was called a whole bunch. It was called yeah. very tightly uh, when Perryton came to, to Hereford. But uh, not necessarily tonight, which is fine. Um, we just need to know how it's going to be called and keep on playing. Yeah. It gives us a chance to swing more. Well, the white face is, uh, man, I'm telling you, it was 5-3 in that opening mm -hmm. set. And uh, you can do the math on that. We outscored them 20 to 1 from that point on. And, I mean, they were some pretty convincing points. It wasn't just kind of pitter-patter back. It was. Yeah. Started off by very aggressive serves. I mean, yep. Micah had a good uh, good run there behind the service line where we scored, what, I guess, seven or eight. And, yeah. and then uh, followed it up by Tatum behind the service line as well. And um, everybody's just, at this point, everybody's swinging, swinging very well, very aggressively. So it'll be Herford to serve first here in set number two. That'll be Miranda to serve. Miranda, uh, along with Bonnie and London and Tatum and Autumn and Cameron. That's the six out there for the white faces. As Herford now two sets away from being 10-0 uh, in the district, 42-2 and two on the season. Miranda ready to serve. Big smiles on the lady white faces, if you can imagine. Again, if you're going to make the long drive up here, you might as well play. And a great serve there. Just picked up by Perryton and flea balled over. Bonnie to London to Cameron. And Cameron takes a little something off of it and scores. Wow. There is no doubt in my mind. She saw exactly where that hole yep. was, and she just dropped her elbow and gave him a, just a little, roll, almost a tip, but uh, rolled it in for the score. Two, no, one nothing, Herbert. Uh, Miranda serves at the net. Pushed over by Puritan, picked up by Bonnie, passed over far side. Cameron, a huge swing, great dig by Puritan, but they can't play it back. Cameron's got her fourth kill, and it's two to nothing. By the way, if you're from Hereford, uh, what is hats off to you ever you'll find us loyal and true, firm and undaunted. Oh, yeah, that's our school song. That's also <laughs> Puritan's. Here's uh, the serve by Miranda, then push it near side. Wilburn, big swing, nice dig at the net, Puritan. Throws it over. Herford picks it up. Set it down in the middle for Stowe. And Stowe puts it right straight down. 3-0 Herford. Stowe's got seven. I can read the lips of the Perryton coach right there, and she said, wow. <laughs> and that's a good thing to say. Yep. Stowe hits it like that. Good serve again by Miranda. In the middle, Perryton, big swing, blocked by Stowe, and it's a point for the white faces. That's a wow, too. Nice. Stowe well, blocked there yeah. in the middle. So Stowe with uh, a couple of blocks, a couple of aces. Huge size advantage right now for yeah. the Lady White Faces on the front row. Miranda serves a little short serve, and they dive, can't get it. It's an ace. <laughs> Student body of Perryton upstairs trying to shake Miranda just a little bit. She's yeah. enjoying it. <laughs> Five, nothing hurts it. Miranda's ready again. Perryton going to sub in now uh, for the first time tonight. Trying to find somebody who can play it back. Here's the pass. It's not good. They do get it over. Tatum to London. Back near side to Autumn. Autumn to the floor. Nice pass. Nice swing by Autumn Wilburn. And it's 6 nothing. She yeah, got nice. dug down the line the last swing. So she yeah. took it cross court right in the middle of the floor. I mean, she's just like Jerry Walker. She just skies up there. <laughs> good service again. By the white faces, but a good pass this time. A tip played up by Autumn. Set by London, Stowe straight down again. It's seven another. Stowe with eight. I'm telling you, when they hit inside the 10 foot line, when you're swinging, I mean, there's nothing you can do. Little floater, again, it's an ace. Perryton runs together trying to get in position, and meanwhile, uh, it's on the floor. Stewart so body just sort of hung their head after they yelled and <laughs> thought they had it that time with Miranda. 8 nothing. Miranda with a good serve. It's another ace. Back-to-back -back aces <laughs> by Miranda. Wow. White faces lead it 
8-9-0 here in the second set. Herford up a set. Perryton wants to serve, but they or sub, but they can't get them in. Far side into the net, and it's a point for the White Faces. 10-0 Herford. Won the first one at four, lead 10 love here in the second to the Lady White Faces. Wow. This is about as quick as you can play. Miranda ready again. Whistle sound, she serves. Not a good pass by Perryton, but they will free ball it over. Miranda, go, London. Go, go. Over it goes to Blair, and Blair with her fifth kill. Brought Blair in that time for a little 31 set. Tatum went in for the quick set, tried to freeze a blocker, and uh, Tatum just on the outside of her left shoulder. 11-0, Miranda with a short serve again. Perryton across, Miranda, London, Stowe. <laughs> Stowe's got nine. 12 nothing Irving. Wow. Cut that, back that time. That is thorough as you can, uh, I mean, we are really sharp. Uh, you know, Perryton's overmatched, but we are really sharp. Good serve again by Miranda. Near side, no middle, tipped over. Herford plays it up, and the White Faces free ball it over and hit it too deep. It's 12-1. So 12 serves in a row by Miranda to start this uh, second set. That's a pretty good start. That's a darn good start. <laughs> You're exactly right. Let's see if we can get a kill off serve receive now. Estrada ready to serve for Perryton. She serves a floater to Miranda, to London, to Stowe. Stowe has her 10th kill. That'll do it. <laughs> well, on the back row that time, she hit it deep, and they tried to dig it up and uh, off, the, off the platform and into the stands. That's where it went. Here we go now. Cameron serving at 13-1 to Herford, the junior. Nice serve. Good pass this time. Near side. Big swing. It's into the net, and it's 14-1. to White face is up here in the second set. Cameron Blair serving. Good service. Oh, it's an ace. Wow. That one just dove to the floor. Turford's, uh, we've got three, seven aces. Cameron serves at 15 to one. Ready once again. Good service, and again, they can't play it. It is 16 to one, and that's back-to-back -back aces for Cameron Blair. Some of our serves, I'm telling you, they are just back row attacks. They are, they really are. Good service again, this time a little better pass. They push it over, played up by London. Set to the net to Autumn. Great play by Autumn to get that thing over here on the near side, and they can't get it back. Autumn with a great, I mean, she didn't have a good set. She just kind of got that thing where they couldn't play it, and it's 17 to one, Herford. White face is serving here. Jump serve into the net this time. Point for the uh, Perryton ladies, 17 to two. Her, uh, well, what was the call? 17 to two, it ought to be. Scoreboard's wrong. In any event, uh, Perryton will serve here in the second set. White face is in control. Good pass by Emma Cooper, who just checked in. Over it goes to Bonnie, and Bonnie with the yeah, kill. Her third. Bonnie. Split the blockers. She did. Split the blockers and split the diggers on the back row as well. 18 to one, the scoreboard shows. That's, that's not right. Fort Perryton's got two points. Pete Madrigal right down to our right here. Trey, uh, who had knee surgery from playing volleyball. Trey Madrigal. And uh, Herford now as they take the overpass. Here is oh, down yes. the line Stowe, her 11th. And the White Pacers lead it 19 to two. Although the scoreboard shows one. I, I don't really know why we're here at yeah, Perryton. Yeah, Perryton kids are motioning yeah. too. Micah with a great serve, and it's, no, nope, they play it over well. Good save. It was a good save. Over it goes now to Bonnie, and Bonnie with a kill. And it's 20 to two. They've got this two up now on the scoreboard for Perryton. 20 to two, Herford here in the second set. Won the first one at 25-4, Herford did. Micah, who had eight service points in the first, serves here. Perryton bumps it across. Nice dig by Cooper, pushed over now to Bonnie. Bonnie, big swing, Bonnie gets another kill. Five for the senior, and it's 21 to two. 
Bonnie putting them in deep, about yeah. five, five, four feet inside the baseline, and tough to play back. Micah serves. Oh, great serve. They get to it, get it up, and don't get it across. 22 to two. White faces, second set. Again, we haven't uh, had a timeout call, so we've just played right along here. Micah, good service again. Perryton will free ball it over. Chance to score, Emma. Micah, Stowe, and Stowe just tips it down this time. She could have whopped it, but gets her 12th kill on a little tip here on the near side. And it's 23 to two, Herford. Again, Micah back to serve. 23-2, white faces in the second set. Micah serves, Perryton digs, sets, pushes it over. Miranda to the far side now to Bonnie, down the line again. It is 24 to two. Bonnie's got six kills. Herford one point away from a two love lead here in Perryton in pretty quick order. Jumps and serves near side. It's an ace and that's it. That is the uh, third ace for Micah and the White Faces win it 25-2 and go up two love and we will take a break here for a minute 30 and be back with set number three in a minute and a half. Four and two, the first two sets of this. Uh, that is about as good as we can play, Coach. Uh, uh, <laughs> indeed it is. Uh, just uh, three in the uh, in the second set, just three different rotations got to come in and wow. uh, three different servers. And, you know, the only frustrating part of that is that some of your hitters that don't get in on the front row want to yeah. get in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody wants a little, little piece of this here. Yeah, now. absolutely. That's Dozen kills for Stowe, a half dozen for Bunny, a couple for Autumn, uh, five for Cameron, and three for uh, Watley. White faces again with uh, 10 aces, three by Micah, three by Miranda, two apiece for Cameron and Tatum. Uh, Tatum's got a couple of blocks, as does uh, Nikola. And uh, all in all, I mean, we've just kind of been hitting on all cylinders, and like Coach said, uh, some players wouldn't wouldn't let her tonight because they're not going to get in the, <laughs> in the match. My uh, faces will receive serve here in the third set. It'll be Estrada serving for uh, Perryton as we go to the third and uh, likely final set of this uh, volleyball season for Perryton. Herford at 41 and 2, 10 and 0. Service to Miranda. We pass it near side to Wilburn. They got a block on her. Dig it up. Play it far side, push it over. Nice play by Blair. Pop back up to Blair. Blair off the net, throws it to the middle. And Borger plays it, or pardon me, Perryton plays it. Deep, nice pass, but tight on the net, but we get to it, and there's Watley with a kill. So the white face is a uh, couple of kind of out of sync things there, and we just picked him up fine and played uh, for the first point. I'll tell you what, Watley is Man, she is <laughs> loosening up and just snapping that core. Miranda with a serve. Perryton in the middle, tips it. We tip it right back and down, and Perryton does get it across. Great play by Bonnie to save it. Near side to Blair, and she gets it off the side of her hand into the net. It's one to one. 
Yeah, we kind of lost the point a moment ago on a no call, but that's 1-1. Uh, one, one. Third set, Perryton serving. And it's uh, Navarrete to serve for the Rangerettes. Herford ready to receive serve as it comes to Miranda. To London, to Stowe, and Stowe gets her 13th kill. 2-1 Herford. My face students, uh, players really right behind us, kind of over the rail there. Again, pretty good crowd of folks back behind us. Uh, good service, too, do, too good. Second service mistake, uh, Cameron's had both of those, unfortunately, and it's 2-2 two -two here in the third. She's a little disgruntled as she comes out. But the White Faces will receive serve at 2-2 two -two here in the third. Again, winning by scores of four and two in the first two sets. Perryton to serve. Floor is the server. Good service, good pass. Near side, Bonnie. They Big were in the swing. Net. They were in the net, big oh time. Oh my goodness. Far side now to Wilburn, off the top of the net and down. White faces lead it three to two. Good job, Autumn Wilburn. Yeah, you know, they nearly tore the net down a moment ago. Perryton did, but uh, no call. White faces lead it three to two. Perryton apparently is a little out of rotation here. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think they've asked for a rotation check, a lineup check. Coach Spees is doing just that as the Perryton coach is out on the floor. It's 3-2 Herford in the third set. Again, uh, here tonight, we've made the trek up north. Uh, Nevaeh Coronado is about to come in. London's going to check out here for the white faces as... Uh, Our substitutes are in limbo. Yeah, we're, we're trying to... Left to fend for ourselves for the moment. I don't know what we're going to do. All right. Here, all right, here we go. It's uh, Nevaeh in and Micah in. It'll be Nevaeh and uh, Bonnie and Tatum up on the net. Micah to serve, 3-2 Herford in the third set. Jumps and serves it out. She just hit it, and that's our third service mistake. So curriton has got nine points for the night, and three of them have come on service errors by the white faces. 3-3 in the third set. Perryton serving. It'll be Cavazos to serve. She's a sophomore. And uh, she's ready now. Perryton's still confused about their lineup, but I guess they've got what they've got. And here we go. 3-3 in the third set. Service. Cooper over it goes to Stowe. Stowe gets her 14th kill. 4-3 Herford, Stowe will serve now. Let's see if Tatum can get a good run at the service line here. 4-3 in the third set for the White Faces. The senior, West Texas State signee, great serve. It's picked up, Borger will, or pardon me, Perryton will free ball it over and we don't get to it. Four all as uh, Perryton did a good job of digging that serve up and then uh, they free balled it over and we took a nap. <laughs> yeah, our front row, I mean, just sort of let the back row do all the work on the on the pass, and the pass was about at a 10-foot line. Perryton serves, good service. Miranda, good pass. Near side, Watley off the net. Watley gets the kill. Watley's fifth, the White Faces lead at 5-4. It's Bonnie back to serve. Bonnie didn't get to serve in that last set. In comes uh, Blair, it's Blair, Vallejo, and Coronado up on, or pardon me, Blair, Watley, and Coronado up on the front. Vallejo serving, Perryton. Cross court, dug up nicely by Bonnie. Pass near side to Blair, and Blair makes it 6-4. She gets her sixth kill. You hear the student body behind us kind of woofing it up as they <laughs> cheer for the white faces. 6-4, they're having fun. Bonnie, good serve. Perryton, not a good pass. They do push it across. Now we set Watley in the middle, and Watley gets number six. There you go. Wadley took the pass that time. Again, it's some short free balls by Perryton. Front row needs to be prepared to take those. Seven to four now, Bonnie serves. Good service, it's an ace. Bonnie gets her first ace and the team's 11th of the match. Eight for Herford. In the third set, we've won the first two handily. Good serve by Bonnie again. They scramble for it, get it far side. Bonnie, nice pass on the back row over it goes to Coronado they dig Coronado oh. push it over <laughs> yeah 
Oh, is right. Here he is, Blair with the kill. Yep, Coach is right. They're not going to call any lifts tonight. Oh. It's not going to be called. Nine to four, Herford. Bonnie ready. Good service. Perryton gets it over with a throw. Herford sets it back behind the 10 foot line to Bonnie, and guess what she does with it? She puts it on the floor, 10 to four, seven kills for Bonnie Vallejo. Bonnie's got her two, three back row kills yeah. in these last few matches. Bonnie, good service, it's an ace. They cannot play it again, Bonnie gets her second ace. And the White Faces lead it 11 to four. So it was tied at four, Herford's run off seven in a row now. Let's see if we can keep it going here in the third set. Bonnie to the middle. Perryton pushed over. Bonnie dives. It's a little tight. We get it to Watley. Watley swings, and Perryton can't play it. Seven for Watley. 12 for Herford. Well, it's going to be a forgettable senior night for Perryton. Uh, my goodness. 12 for Herford in the third set. Bonnie, good service. Perryton set from the middle. Blocked by the white faces, and Perryton will play it across and played up nicely by Miranda in the middle, tipped over by the white faces, but played up again by Perryton. Far side, Perryton, big swing off the top of the net. Blair plays it up, and Herford can't get him across. 12 5. White faces actually stepped across the line, I think, in, at the net. Yeah. In we, any event. We've got to get our passes. We, we've done that a couple of times here yeah. in the last few points. Our, pa our passes have been very flat, and our setter can't get there in time. Perryton serves, Miranda over to Watley on the little slide play, and it's not a great set, and she puts it down anyway. Eight kills for Watley. Good job by Watley, just hanging yep. in the air for a while. 13 to five, Herford. It's London in to serve. London didn't even know she could serve here tonight. It's her first, <laughs> once your second time. It's good service, played up, near side, big swing and out. 14 to 5, Herford by 9. London ready to go again. Third set now, White Faces. What, four, 11 points away from the district season? Oh, she went down the near line and missed it wide, so service error there makes it 14 to 6. London went cross court with it, tried to hit the line on the near side. Guess she missed it. I couldn't tell for sure, but the official. The high school student said she did, so I'm sure she did. 14 to 6, Herford, as Perryton serves here, Estrada, in the third set. Officials ready now. It's out, and it's 15 to 6. So it'll be Miranda serving. Miranda, uh, Emma Jones, London, Wilburn, Cameron, and Tatum. Perryton, free balls to serve back. Miranda, London. London, Wilbur. Wilbur, they dig it, great play. Ball hit the... Hit the speakers, I think. Hit the speakers, and that's a point for the White Faces. So Wilbur gets credit for the kill, her fourth. 16 to six, Herford. Miranda goes quickly. Good service. Far side, Perryton. Dug up by Miranda. Near side, Blair off the net, can't get much on it. They dig it on the back line, but they overpass it. Oh. That was a mistake. <laughs> 15 <laughs> kills for Stowe. They overpassed that, and uh, Stowe went up and put it down. 17 to 6, Herford. Miranda ready again. My face is about to be 42 and 2 heading into the playoffs. At the net, there's a battle for it, and it's blocked by Blair. Blair gets the white face point. Kendall, or Cameron, I beg your pardon. Yep, Cameron did a nice job not reaching yeah. not reaching all the way across. Got stayed on the plane of the net. 18-6, great serve. Bumped over by Perryton, played up by London, set by over to uh, Wilburn, and Wilburn gets the kill. She hits it off the block and makes it 19-6, surf and five kills for Autumn. Miranda ready again, 19-6. White faces six points away from well, here's a little short serve. They dive for it, get it across. Now Emma to London, to Cameron. They block it, but block it out. Going for the white faces. Eight kills for Cameron. 20 to six, Herford. Ready once again is Miranda. Great serve, it's an ace. 
Miranda gets her fourth ace of the match, and the White Faces have uh, 13 as a team. 21-6, Miranda. Far side, bumped up. Big swing out, and it's 22-6. White Faces need three. Miranda ready. Herbert's one by four and two, and they lead by six, uh, at six here. Perryton into the net, 23 to six. White Faces need two more. Miranda ready once again. Good service, Perryton not a good pass. They will push it over, played up by Emma, set by London, Stowe. Stowe pushes it down, Perryton gets to it and gets it across. Emma, London, Stowe on the near side and Stowe down the line. It's 24 to six, and that's 16 for Stowe. We need one more here. Yeah. Good swing on the outside, on the slid. It was. Tatum on the outside that time. Here we go, Miranda ready again. Little floating serve. Puritan in the middle, blocked, but it falls on the open side of the net. 24 to seven, Puritan point. My faces still need one, so Puritan will serve here in the third set. See what we do out of serve receive here. My faces now, let's see, as Perryton gets ready to serve it. This is uh, Navaretti. Miranda, London. Blair, and Blair got underneath it, put it long, 24 to eight. Cameron is gonna put a little exclamation point on that one, and she sailed it out. 24-8, Herford leads. Perryton serves again. Let's do it right here. Good serve, oops, bad pass, we tip it up, we get it across, great save by Wilburn there. Perryton on the far side, blocked by the White Faces, that's it, Wilburn with the block. And the White Faces end it right there at eight. Four, two, and eight, the White Faces win, and that makes them the unbeaten, and 10-0, uh, and 0, not lost a set, district champs, that's not too bad. <laughs> that is pretty darn awesome. Congratulations seconds. to yeah. them, their coaches and staff. I mean, it, the whole organization. That's a yeah. that is quite an accomplishment. It is, and it was a great night here tonight for the White Faces. They played very, very well. Well, it was worth the trip, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's worth the trip. People used to always say, people like to say, "Oh my gosh, it's just a." You're going there, all that drive for just a short match like that. Heck yeah, that's the best <laughs> trip of all. That's the best. It is. <laughs> All right, we'll take a break for 60 seconds. Be back here in Perryton in one minute. Uh, in fine fashion, uh, four, two, and eight. They beat uh, Perryton here tonight and become the 10-0 uh, district champs with, again, uh, nary a uh, set lost in district play. So they've won 30 consecutive sets, if you will, and that's, that's pretty impressive. The White Faces are posing here in front of us, uh, celebrating, again, this 10-0 season and... Uh, 40-second win as we head into the playoffs starting next Monday night uh, down in uh, Lubbock, Lubbock Cooper against Sweetwater. Uh, six o'clock, I think. We'll see how that all goes, but uh, we'll have Coach uh, McCracken come join us here in just a minute and then visit with uh, a couple of the players here before we go home this evening as uh, they get situated here. And... Uh, Coach uh, calling them up. Let's see if, uh, I don't know where Coach, we've lost, we've lost Coach McCracken. I think she went, here she comes. Maybe not. 
Here come the players. Here comes Coach McCracken. We'll just do the players first here tonight. And we'll start with Miss Watley, who had uh, eight kills. And we played pretty sharp again tonight, didn't we? Yes, sir, we did. So, hi there. How you doing? Just fine. So how, how do you feel? I mean, we came up here, did what we needed to do, and now uh, we're ready to start playoffs next Monday night. I'm so excited. I want it already. It's going to be good every game. We just have to keep going, keep getting better. I mean, as the games go on, it'll sure. be better. How about you? I mean, you seem to be a little more comfortable, a little more aggressive, yeah. a little more all that stuff. Is that right? Yes. I mean, during the season, in the middle of the season, it was a little um, setter hitter connection like problem, and now me and Micah, it's just it's, it's getting so better. Coach McCracken has had us practicing on it ever since, like, and Coach Kane also, she always yeah. always goes in our practices and helps <laughs> us, so that's the reason I feel confident. So, you know, you've gone through the district, I mean, pretty pretty good fashion. I mean, we're 10-0, we haven't lost a set. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you feel like, as far as where we are as a team, or where we need to be right now? Mm, not really. I feel like we're still at, like, a 75%. I still, there's, still feel like there's a lot we can do. Like, I feel like there's a lot we can accomplish as a team together. There's well, still a lot. Sure. Well, this is a long bus ride, but it's mm -hmm. worth it when we play yeah. like this, isn't it? Yes, sir. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. We'll have uh, Cameron's next. Let's see what Cameron had. She had uh, eight kills tonight uh, and a couple of aces. So mm -hmm. how was it? It was good, I think. Right. Yeah. How do you like the serving? I mean, is that uh, fun or not so fun or yeah, pressure like or what? Yeah, I like it, but sometimes I miss. <laughs> sometimes you miss. Yeah. Well, you're pretty aggressive back there. Yeah. And, uh, it's hard to be aggressive and not miss sometimes, isn't it? Yeah. So what about Cameron? I mean, here you are, like, played last year, obviously, as a sophomore, but you've got a lot more responsibility now. How does that feel? I like it. Is it, is, do you feel pressure? Do you? Mm -mm. No, not at all. Huh? Mm -mm. What about as we go into the playoffs here now? Tell me a little bit about where you think we are and what we need to do. I think we're in a good place right now. We just need to keep working hard. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this was a good show here tonight. I mean, yes. it's a long way to come, but we played well, and that makes it good. Yes. It does. Thank you, Cameron. Thank Blair. you. All right, Cameron steps away. And our next uh, will be uh, London Baker is next. Uh, London, how are you tonight, London? I'm good. And so your aunt came to see you play, did she? Yes. So do you have some, uh, Ken folks everywhere we play? Is that what it is? Basically. Basically, yeah. you do. <laughs> well, that's good. All right. This was this tonight. We were really sharp, but that means we don't go very far in the rotation, does it? Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of times where a lot of girls couldn't play because yeah. we were serving the whole time. What about the team and, and you? Uh, again, now you've played 44. You hadn't played any matches, uh, you know, a couple of months ago, three months ago. Now you played 44. What's different about London today than, let's say, three months ago? I was a lot more shy. I guess this yeah. team has really brought out my. I don't know. You're like, what, whatever you are. Yeah. Right? <laughs> so the the setting part of it, how hard is that? It's really hard, like trying to put it in the hitter's hands, basically. Yeah. And if it's too high or too low, they can't hit it. So. so is there a lot of talk even during the match between you and the hitters? Yes. yes. And, and, and how does that work as far as calling plays and what you're going to do? Um, who, do who does the play calling? When you're oh, trying, I call the plays. You call the plays, okay. Yeah. And, and sometimes, I mean, they're in front of you, behind you, mm -hmm. uh, in the middle, wherever it might be. Huh? Yes. All right. We've added it a little bit more, so it's gotten a little more complicated, huh? Yep. <laughs> well, you did a good job here tonight, London. Congratulations. Thank you. All Thank right. You. All right. Next is Autumn. Autumn with uh, five kills tonight. And another uh, player who's, who's really, I mean, as the season's gone on, you look a lot more comfortable, Autumn, are you? Uh, yes, I am very much, like, a lot more comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why. Um, I feel like I have approved, like improved my skills a yeah. lot more than at the start of the season, definitely. Um, and I have been working and working at my arm swing, and it's not the greatest right now, <laughs> but it'll get there. Yeah. And um, I feel just more comfortable around the volleyball, I guess. I mean, when you started this season, when we started this season, then... Uh I mean, we started, like, in Mansfield and places oh, like yeah. that where it was big-time volleyball. I mean, that had to be a little intimidating, huh? Um, I wouldn't say so much as intimidating as exciting. Exciting? Okay. Well, that's a good word for it, then. Now we're heading into the playoffs starting next Monday. Uh, how do you feel season. about all that? I'm excited. You're excited yeah. about that? Go ball season, right? Yes. All right. Well, go win a bunch of them, Autumn. We will. All right. Thank you, Autumn. Thank well, you. Yes, ma'am. All right. That's our players for tonight. We're going to visit here with Coach McCracken just a little bit, and then they can go get on the bus and head back to Hereford.
Tell me, Coach, uh, I mean, we played really sharp again tonight, Coach. We, I mean, we did. Um, we're just still, you know, working on – there's just new stuff that we're just continuing yeah. to add and getting those in, you know, a game-like setting is – is important and uh, I think we're doing a good job. I think chemistry on the court yeah. is great, um, which it has been all year, so. Talk to London a little bit about the setting and, and to Autumn, I mean, you know, you look back at those girls, uh, they started on the varsity playing in in Mansfield and, and I mean, in some tournaments where there's big time volleyball right, going on. Right, right, absolutely. So, I mean, they've obviously made great gains since then. Yes. The team, not just them. Yes, and I'm, I mean, I'm so thankful that there were tournaments this year. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. um, you know, we were looking, and it's almost like we've played two of, of last season, you know, yeah. I mean, on, as well, far as game I mean, count. I, mean, so. I think 26 versus 44, so, yes. you know, pretty close <laughs> to that. Tell me, that. I mean, how did we play so well early when we really didn't have that much experience? You know, I think a lot of it really, I mean, how the girls just, you know, they accept, you know, London coming up, and, I mean, the chemistry is so good with, yeah. with each other, and, they trust each other on the court, and I think that, you know, that was just such a solid base to build off of. And, I mean, they've really just, every practice, I mean, they've just come in and, and you know, everything that I expect of them, they meet those yeah. expectations. And that's, you know, it's kind of fun because it's, you know, you, you plan the practice and you're like, oh, that's going to be a hard <laughs> one. And then they finish it, and you're like, oh, you know. <laughs> well, so, hard enough, right? Yeah, yeah. So. Well, I mean, it's it's been, uh, obviously, this is just the beginning of what we want to do. Yes, absolutely. And next Monday night, we, we start what we yes, want to do. Yes, but. Uh, you've got to be pleased with what they've done. The absolutely, kids. absolutely. I'm so proud of them. No matter what happens, yeah. you know, I mean, they're, I've been thinking about it. You know, our goal is to make exceptional volleyball players, and I think we've done a good job of that. But, you know, our ultimate goal is to make exceptional women, and I know that we've done a good job of that. So. I would agree wholeheartedly. Well, it was another great win. 10-0, and 0, hadn't, didn't lose the seventh district. That's, <laughs> it's, that's pretty it's impressive. Fun. <laughs> it's fun. It's great fun. So congratulations, Thank Carly. You. Proud of you and proud of the girls. Thank you, Tom. All right, Carly McCracken, our final guest here tonight and we'll let her step away and get on the bus and head back to Hereford. We'll do that here in a bit ourselves but uh, we thank you for joining us. Sorry again that we had a little problem there in that first set but hopefully all that got squared away in two and three and the white faces uh, winning by scores of four two and eight uh, go to 42 and two and 10 and 0 in the district and uh, we'll be back on the air with them next Monday night. Now Friday night we're at home football wise against the Pampa Harvesters. Hope you'll uh, come out to the field, but if you can, again, join us uh, either online or on KPA and AM and FM. And listen as the Whitefaces uh, play game number two in the district against the high-scoring Papa Harvesters. Again, the final here tonight, 4-2-8. and eight. The Whitefaces win uh, 16 kills for Tatum, 8 for uh, Nikaila, uh, 8 for Cameron, 7 for Bonnie, 5 for Autumn. And the White Faces with, uh, what, seven, nine, 13 aces in the night match as well. So it was a good night all around. Appreciate you joining us. Uh, again, thanks to uh, Anastasia and Adam for uh, bringing you the, the pictures here on YouTube. We're glad you could join us here this evening. We'll see you Friday night with White Face Football. Uh, for Brenda Kitten, this is Tom Simon saying good night.